will come we'll understand one of the important non parametric test and that is friedman test now when do we use friedman test is a very important question uh friedman test is a simple replacement we can say for anova repeated measures repeated measure means on the same person you are studying the test at different point of time so let's say a person underwent a surgery now after the surgery you are following up with a patient one week later and one month later so i'm having three points of time on which i'm studying the same person and there is where you would use friedman test because it is repeated measure why it is repeated it is on the same person a that i am taking the values at three point of time one very important difference between the friedman test and anova repeated is friedman is a non parametric test however where do we use anova repeated measures we use it as a parametric test and since it is a parametric test what is studied here is difference of means however under friedman test we would understand it based on rands so this is a simplified understanding of friedman test now where and what are the prerequisites for friedman test first is we try to find statistically significant difference so first important precondition is statistically significant difference that you are finding the second is there are three or more dependent samples now when it is an independent sample three or more independent sample in a non parametric test we could do kruskal valis test as we have understood in a separate lecture however when the samples are dependent now how they are dependent same persons values i am taking at the time of surgery one week after surgery one month after surgery so it is dependent it's on the same person now what is the independent variable here independent variable is the time so it's immediately after the surgery one week after the surgery and one month after the surgery so independent variable here is time and what is the dependent variable dependent variable is the uh, the the study on the same person that you are trying to do now as i said there can be three or more dependent samples the other important thing is the ordinal value of the dependent variable that means when i am ranking so under friedman test as we said what do we do we understand the difference of the ranking now here the value with the highest the the numbers with the highest value would be ranked first 